folks, fellow YouTubers, welcome to Jesse James 50 Cal. Today the episode is going to be on the Taurus Spectrum. It's a little, uh, little small, little conceal and carry. Uh, had good reviews, one or two bad, but that's pretty much any gun you see on any review. You know, I was going to get one or two bad ones, but uh, I own a Taurus 22, uh, and I, uh, I like it a lot. So I thought I'd get this guy here. Um, it's extremely small. Uh, the ergonomics on it, though, feel great, which is weird for a guy with a big hand to say. Um, it does come with an extended mag. So it's going to be your, your flush, you know, six shot, and you got your seven shot. Gives you a bit more of a more of a rest on your pinky, right? How much more of a grip down in there, which is nice, and I like it. But when you're sticking it in your pocket all the time, because it's a pocket gun, and I don't keep one in the chamber because uh, I don't have a holster of this guy yet, so I, I just have a, a mag in. This is much more flush, easy to get in and out. Get in there, you little bastard. Uh, uh, the gun is very rounded, everywhere you see, everything is rounded. Sights, extremely small, almost non-existent, so nothing catches as you're pulling it out. No uh, outward safety, just like, uh, kind of like a Glock. Anyways, we're gonna give it a whirl today. This is a 380 auto caliber gun. That is the spectrum right there. Uh, one thing to note when getting this gun, uh, and that is fire it first before you take it apart. I'm that guy, I like to know how things work and oil it up because I really take care of my guns. It has a really tight spring in there, folks. And uh, if you don't loosen that guy up first by shooting it uh, and try getting that thing back in there, wow. I don't recommend that. Nobody told me in the videos I watched, this Spectrum right here, before I got it, I'm telling you right now, it was a huge pain in the ass, don't do that. All right. So we're gonna give it a whirl with two different ammunitions today. Got ourselves blazer brass, and we got six out. This is going to be a 95 grain. And this is gonna be a 100 grain, both 380 auto. And let's see. So first one we're gonna test off is the six sour. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this guy feeds, how dependable it is. It's brand new. So we're gonna give it a whirl here. Uh, target's not too far away, but that's because this is an up-close pocket gun, um, meant for, uh, yeah, not long distance. Anywho, let's give it a whirl. Oh, man down! Well, it appears we have ourselves a technical malfunction. Give us a moment, we'll fix that. All right guys, we're back. Had a little malfunction with the target. We're gonna try this again here. And we have ourselves a jam. A little stovepipe there, folks. Oh, no, failure to feed. Failure to feed. It's the last bullet. All right, well, that's something to know. All right, guys, before we get out there shooting, uh, did want to give you a heads up with the 380 Auto. Did a little research here and there on the uh, ballistics and whatnot. A lot of you would be looking at this and say, he's got a conceal and carry. Why doesn't the guy have hollow points, right? Well, what I've read, what I've been told, rumors going around, is that 380 Auto, the hollow points, they just don't have enough penetration, is the problem. And, uh, oh, cool. no. they have enough penetration. So, you know, you get the ball ammo with the 380 Auto, and it penetrates basically the way bullets are supposed to penetrate when shooting something. Look into it yourselves. We're gonna do a video on ballistics here eventually, but just a heads up, you are gonna get a 380 for conceal and carry, self-defense, maybe look into that and maybe avoid the hollow points. Just putting it out there, all right. All right, so we're gonna go with the Sig Sauer first. See how this guy rolls. And then we're gonna do the Blazer Brass after that, folks. All right.
All right, failure to kick back, uh, but it fed the ammo just fine. So not a big deal, these little guns. I know most little subcompacts don't even have a kickback feature. This one does. So not a big deal there, but something to note, definitely. All right, we're gonna try the Blazer Brass. That is gonna be a friendly reminder, 95 grain, 380 a two. Just a little bit more of a pinky grip, like I was saying. One extra round in there, too, so seven instead of six. And failure to kick back. Yeah, no big deal there. Again, uh, it's a set with these small little guns, but it is something to note that both the Sig Sar and the Blazer Brass, it didn't kick back. And that, that would tell me that it's probably not the ammo, it's probably the gun. But, uh, yeah. There it is, folks. We're going to load up a couple more here. A couple more little uh, test trials, see how it shoots. Uh, if we're not going to tell on the target, uh, I'm hitting with it. Um, from pretty, uh, I'd say probably about 20, 25 feet away. Pretty accurately. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm peppering that target. Uh, yeah, I think it's just really just a matter of getting used to the trigger. It's not a bad trigger. It just is a little different than most that I've used. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna load up some more uh, ammo here and we'll get right back in a second, do some more shooting. Okay. All right, guys, got some more mags loaded up here. Uh, we're gonna go with the Sig Sauer again and just kind of break in this little guy, break in the spring and make sure it's uh, feeding all this ammo right. If you're gonna have a self-defense gun, you gotta make sure it works. Fair to kick back, but was to be expected. Yeah, fed that just fine. We're gonna go back to the blazer brass now. And it's locking back, so. Looks like it kind of picks and chooses when it wants to lock back. But again, these little small guns, most of them don't even have a kickback feature uh, manufactured into them. So I'm okay with that. And it seems to be feeding just fine. So speaking of feeding well, we got a little recap here because we did some shooting off camera. Uh, we practiced some more 6R of the uh, 380 Auto and some more of the Blazer Brass through the uh, Taurus Spectrum 380 Auto. Uh, we came to the conclusion, and this is without a doubt, that the Sig Sauer did not feed very well. It's gonna be the one here on the right. It jammed multiple times, not stove pipes, but feeding issues. Now, if you look closely at the two different bullets, Blazer Brass on the left, Sig on the right, their tips are different shapes. Now that right there, it reaffirms the myths that go around that bolts are all the same and manufacturing wise, man, especially for a 380 auto where they're very finicky, uh, you know, that's, that should be a big eye opener to any first time gun buyers, let alone anybody that shoots a 380 auto. Uh, very well rounded. We shot what you saw in the video, about 50 to 100 of these guys with blazer brass fed perfectly every time. Great accuracy as well. Off camera, we went on a second day, grabbed some more blazer brass to see if it wasn't a fluke. 50 to 100 rounds through it, fed perfectly fine every single time. Sig Sauer, if you look closely, it's feeding problems, has to do with the very tip. Just jammed right in there every time, folks. See that? Every bullet looked the same. Every single one of them. Same thing right here. I mean, it, we're talking a good five, six. So I <laughs> don't recommend the Sig Sauer. Uh, I recommend the Blazer Brass. This is the actual look, the grain, 
Uh, this fed perfectly. So if you're a first time gun buyer, let alone, let alone somebody that's buying a Taurus Spectrum, this feeds great out of the gun. Um, if for some reason I'm firing this in the future and it doesn't feed one of these guys, I'll do a video on it. But in the meantime, uh, that's what I recommend. Uh, trial and error with these small little guns can be, it can be an issue. So this is to save you some time and some money. And if you were having feeding problems, uh, try the Blazer Brass or just find, you know, a round that has that more of a rounded tip to it. And uh, you're gonna be good to go. That's all I got loaded in my gun. And uh, yeah, I wanna do a little recap on that since we had a little bit more information after going on a second time. I wanna give you a heads up on that. Very important when owning this gun. Yeah, we'll probably wrap a couple more out uh, yeah, throughout the day here just to make sure. But we'll probably call it here on YouTube for you guys right now. Uh, I recommend it. It's a nice little shooter. I uh, nicknamed this one the Stormtrooper. Very Star Wars esque. And I am not a big Star Wars fan. So there you have it. But uh, the reason they call it the Taurus Spectrum is because they've got probably 22 different colors, makes and models, different colors, American flags and these things. I mean, guys, gals, get a little pocket gun in my opinion. And if you look at the target, this one last final time, you know, uh, considering I never fired the gun ever before and uh, me getting used to the trigger, ah, you know, that's pretty good for a little, little short barrel like this. Uh, I like it, I like it, I recommend it. And, uh, Hopefully we see you guys again here soon on Jesse James 50 Cal. I'll catch you later, all right? Take it easy.